Hello kids, welcome back to another Scratch programming lesson with teacher Chatu. Last time we learned how to draw a square and uh, we learned how to automate and how to uh, start with the, with the green flag clicked. So today uh, we are going to learn how to draw a house using Scratch. Killer simulation games. For a change, I thought today I will teach you how to use the web based application. So, for that, first of all, we have to use whatever web browser you have. It could be the popular Google Chrome, Firefox, or maybe Edge. But I'm using another browser. I don't want to say the name because it's I don't want to commercials here so in that web browser you you know we have to type the web address the space for typing the web address addre we call it address bar in the address bar you type scratch dot mit dot edu then press enter then it will come to a web page like this and it says uh, it's this is the uh, website for scratch you can create the game so you can share it and you can um, go to others projects like this we can you can see the projects over here Featured projects, uh, students, so on and so forth. There are so many things. Um, once you create a project in the web application, uh, you can go to the web application anytime, and you can use your projects. So um, I have a web uh, web account already. It is uh, called Tchato. And I will sign in just to show you how to uh, how it will look like. Looks like this is my uh, okay. So I logged in here and uh, I logged in my account, and then I can go to create project if you have a uh, if you have a good web connection you can use the web application or if you don't have a good connection you can download your uh, offline web uh, offline scratch application and you can install in your computer and then you can start uh, doing programming so here you can uh, save it to uh, you can make a new uh, project save save in the cloud or save as a copy you can get a copy and you can modify it again or you can save to your computer or load from your computer so uh, anyhow uh, you have to know how to create a uh, scratch account so now I'm going to show you how to create a scratch account when you go into your scratch uh, website on your right top hand side there is a two, there are two buttons one is join scratch the other one is sign in if you have a, a scratch account you can go to sign in and you can sign into the your account if not you have to you have to make a uh, scratch account for that you have to click on this join scratch button and then the, it will uh, make this uh, small uh, show you this small, show you this small uh, application so in here the fir first thing you have to put a uh, username for that you can 
use a different name something you can remember for um, for demonstration purposes i will put it as test uh, test on test chatu the T capital and C capital also and then you can put a password here uh, here remember if you are uh, if you want to see this you uh, tick this show password if not uh, remember if you are logging in a in a public area uh, make sure you will untick this checkbox so I will put a password here something very easy for me to remember And then you will retype the same password and click next then you can select your country uh, I will put it I will put Thailand I'm not from Thailand but I can put here uh, birth year and birth month and then you can click on next then you can choose your gender which would be male female or any other male so I will male press next then they will ask for your email so here you can give email you will not see my email sense then it will show you this um, welcome uh, not welcome to scratch test dash chatu we are now logged in you can start exploring and creating projects want to share and comment want to share and comment click the link on the email we sent to my email address is here you can you will not see that and then uh, go to get started this is the simple procedure to make a new uh, account in scratch so I will log out sign out from here and I will go to my real account which is uh, the chatu and then uh, I will quickly make the last Listen, we did. last lesson did to green like uh, as I remember this color and uh, we put the pen size to number three so this is the last lesson we learned it's uh, it has a little difference because there is no stage the stage we use the XY XY grid so I will put that XY grid also then it will be exactly the same as last time so 
this is what we learned last time so today uh, what we are going to do is we are going to extend the same project to draw a house so uh, if I can stop this in the correct timing see. Ah, there is something wrong in this program. Can you see each time when I uh, press stop and start again, pen size is uh, getting bigger and bigger. The error here is I set this pen size 3, it is not set pen size to 3, it is is not pen size to B it is change pen size by 3 so whenever you stop and start it will go here whatever the number the pen size is now it will add 3 to that and then it will uh, start again that's why this is to have it's happening it's happening right so uh, what we have to do is set pen size to then if i stop this and if i start again change to pen size 3 now okay so perfect i stopped in the correct position so now what we are going to do is we are going to draw a house to draw we have a square already to draw a house what we need is we need to extend these two sides this this line uh, left little and right little and we have to put uh, connect those extended bars in somewhere up middle in y axis so easiest way to do this is I can Anyways, it is going up to here. So, if I change this to 150 uh, x to 150, it will go here. You see, 150. What is happening? Ah, this is not a square anymore. And uh, here it will be also 100 minus 150 see now the line here is already extended but we can't have the square now so the way I did is wrong it shouldn't be changed in here it should be 100 100 but uh, what you can do is you can duplicate two of these I will this two what I want you want to do now here is it's going uh, it's 100 not 10 okay now what I want to do is when it comes here which is the last position here I want it to go all the way up to 150 150 x 150 and y y is same as same 100 okay so now it will I will separate these two I will put it here Let's see what is happening okay now you can see it's drawing one part of the roof uh, the extended part of the roof so now what I need is I will bring this up to this area like uh, y will be 150 y y will be 
150 and next number is 0 so then if I put this one here is the change okay little bit okay but uh, it's going up then don't mind about this small line here it will disappear when we complete this so if we if we put this uh, if we connect this up to this point it will automatically next time it will go to here at that time house is complete so what I need to do is now uh, x will be minus 100 50 and y is 100 this one again ah. now our house is drawing correctly I don't have to connect from here to here because anyways when it come to when it come to here it will anyways go to the top of the forever loop it will draw and while it is drawing it will go to this point so this is how we are going to draw a house so uh, what we changed here today is this part we added these two parts uh, this three uh, mainly three steps but we put two uh, point two seconds weight block in between each uh, command to see the uh, see the cat's movement so um, this is this is how we are going to complete and kids you can think what you can do to uh, do and uh, what what other creative ways to make other make any other uh, drawings in scratch with next lesson I will teach you how to move the sprite with the mouse okay, see you again with another scratch lesson bye bye